Welcome back to the cafe. Mark and Hamish will be showing us the next steps to Hamish's Auntie Jan's chicken recipe very soon. Now, though, it is great to have Brayden back with us, and you have got a bit to entertain us over the long weekend, but not a musical in sight, Brayden. No, we've got the musicals out of our system, and yeah. Priscilla was fabulous. Wasn't, wasn't it right? awesome? Yeah. yeah, well done to the cast. But moving right along, not musical, but music, and there's a new documentary film about o Oasis out. It's called Supersonic. Now, I'm a big Oasis fan anyway. What I really look for in a music documentary, I want to learn something. I want the nitty gritty. I don't want the same stories that we've been peddled again and again and again. I want yep. it to be very real and I think this delivers. Have a wee look. We're just lads from a council estate. Two brothers. No, it's the funny farm. Ed cases. Come on, you farm. <laughs> Nobody had heard of us, but we had spirit. We never gave up. One night, everything changed. That looks amazing. I saw mm. the whole trailer online recently and it looks like a really good watch. Yeah. What I like is it's that footage that we haven't seen before, candid interviews as well, and the same people that made the Amy Winehouse film too. So yes, we were just talking about good. that yesterday yeah. actually. Yeah. Uh, nice. Now on to a, another a movie, a b blockbuster to watch for the long weekend, and one that I probably wouldn't normally go near because I'm not a fan of two things, Jack Reacher or Tom Cruise. I funny enough. Jack Reacher, Jack Reacher. <laughs> or Tom Cruise. With fists cool. like hands. <laughs> yeah. I bring it to the table though because a lot of people have read the books. A lot of people saw the first movie and a lot of people excited about this. Uh, on Rotten Tomatoes there were about 98% wanting to see it which is quite high so a lot of people looking forward to that. I may if I find myself with absolutely nothing else to do watch this huh. one. Ma'am these men are here to transfer you. Who are they? <laughs> Reach <laughs> These men are here to cure you. Soldier, you know who I am. You've been relieved of Turn. command, ma'am. No time. I'm being held here without cause. It is your right to catch. That soldier was under my command. We don't have time for this. Yeah, I think I've read the book that that one was based on, but I'll tell you what's even better. There's um, someone's done a montage of, of um, Tom Cruise running in all of his movies and they put it together online. <laughs> Brilliant. Really good. He has alluded to just in the last few days about a possible um, sequel to Top Gun and that there was a theory Ooh. that that was coming back and then it fell off the cards and now potentially another one. So I don't know. Who knows Why, how we feel wrong? about that? Just don't, I just don't, don't think you should do it. Don't mess with it. Don't, don't mess, mess with, with perfection. Classic. There you go. Right. Okay, right. Live music. What have you? Yeah, live us? music. Now, I'm a huge Don McGlashan fan. He is it doesn't get enough credit uh, as being a great, great Kiwi songwriter, and he's at Top Lodge tonight uh, with Shane Carter. Tomorrow night at the Luggett Hall down in Central Otago as well. Don McGlashan is still epic live. Um, for Kiwi Music Month I was lucky enough to sit down in, in my mate Robert's lounge. In fact Robert Scott, Robert Arkady both performed with Don, did a version oh. of Anchor Me and I've got a clip of that from May. Loved on McLashan. Yeah. What a voice and his lyrics and oh, yeah. his voice. And Shane Carter too, Tingle. obviously from um, Dimmer. I remember, you know, he's another great person. Yeah. They've moved in very different circles and now they've brought that together for the live show. So, uh, as I said, uh, Top Lodge tonight and Lug It tomorrow night. So, looking forward to that. And also, Bill Bailey is doing the rounds with his Larks and Transit show. He's in Invercargill tonight, Dunedin tomorrow night, Wellington on Monday night too. And he's actually a really good pianist, as you can uh, see in this clip. He's uh, classically trained, he does boogie woogie as well. And I don't know, did you ever watch Black Books? Yes, I loved so there was, it. So there was a, a, an episode where he was actually playing the piano and people thought it was all a setup. But he is, he's incredible and he sometimes weaves piano into his comedy routine. So very funny guy, very talented and a great treat if you're in those centres too. So plenty on for the long weekend. Excellent. Mm, I'm Some good so things pleased. To see. I'm yeah. going to go see Jack Reacher, take one for the team anyway. Uh, thank you, Braden. <laughs> great stuff as always. And I hope you have a good uh, Labor Day, Labor Weekend. Now, are you up to much? Um, am I up to much? Oh, probably actually in the garden. And I know that much. sounds. No, <laughs> yeah. it, look, you know, things get away from you over winter. The lawns are up to my, my your shoulders. I need to, yeah. So I need to get <laughs> in there and actually do something about that. But I would like to see some live music because there is so much going on. So a little bit planned.